109 in Millis, Massachusetts. I'm Bob Lee with Dan Castle, and we've got a doubleheader matinee A match here in the South. On your left, you see Jeremy Seaholm. He will be bowling Dan Esdale on your right. And uh, in the other match, we've got Mike Nardone visiting Justin Waters. Waters, uh, the leader in the, in the conference. He, uh, Jeremy Seaholm trying to hold on to sixth place. The other two trying to fight their way back into playoff contention. Gentlemen, shake hands, start your engines, do whatever you must. Dan? Well, the next ball is live. Good morning, Bob. And good morning, folks at home watching this match. Our home bowlers are going to go first. Uh, both Justin Waters and Dan Esdale prefer to go first when they're the home bowler. So we see Dan on the right, Justin on the left. And this is going to be a great uh, pair of matches here. We have some of our best uh, bowlers in the ACST today. So Esdale's going to start out first ball of the match. And lets it go with a little bit to the right. Leaves just the one, two, eight. Came in on a three pin. Waters on his first ball. Off okay. a little bit, gets a break. Justin threw a 383 last night in uh, Friday Night Pro League. Central three on this network. Just off the object pin, Dan Estelle leaves the head pin alone. So he'll be open his box. Waters is shooting at the 1 2 6. Gets Got it. it. Wood did not come into play. Justin, first place in his group. And a 10 box for Dan. So, format for today this is a five game set or match. The uh, first set of bowlers, in this case the home bowlers, will bowl, come up and bowl five boxes. The visiting bowlers will come up behind them. And then after the first five has been completed by all four bowlers, we'll switch lanes and finish out the games. We'll do this five times. And the winner of each game is awarded two points toward their standings. And the winner of total will be awarded four points. Justin puts five on his fill. Esdale has the one five seven to look at. So there's a total of 14 points awarded to eat, to uh, the uh, winners of each game and, and the match. So uh, that's what you would get in a sweep. Waters, another spare. Yeah, five, uh, go, what, what do you call that, Baba Hay Bale? Yes. And uh, Esdale uh, just picks out the back pin and has an eight box. So he's 18 after two. Waters is at 25 plus a ball. Uh, the, again, these guys are not head-to-head. -head. They're bowling two separate matches here. Esdale trying to get on the head pin, and uh, he's off on the two. Water is on a fill. He's on the head pin and is left with a 4-7-10 split. Seven in a fill puts him at 32 after two. And Dan, uh, off to a slow start, just picks off the three pin. He's got a mess down there to try to clean up for as close to a 10 as he can get. Waters trying to make three in a row here. Uses a wood, just gets a seven pin. He opted uh, to not try to split the pins. SDL trying to clean up this mess and comes out with a respectable eight box for 26 after three. Waters uh, goes through the hole just off of the four pin and has an eight box for himself, 40 after three. Esdale, he's not, he found the head pin that time, and his reward is a 4-6 split. Now he's got some wood down there to play with. We'll see how that comes into play. As, uh, Waters on box four. He's just off the head pin, has a four horseman left. Esdale shooting at the 4-6 split. And goes to the left on the wood and just puts it between. So another open box for Dan. Waters shooting at the four horseman left. And comes in on the two pin, leaves the head pin. So both bowlers open in box four. Esdale tries to pick up just one. He doesn't get anything. And that nice head pin hit rewards him with an eight. Ten box for Waters, 50 after four. Waters went undefeated for quite a long time and finally uh, 
lost a match not too long ago. Josh Daly. He went almost two years undefeated. Tim Douglas took Daly down, though, um, just a couple weeks ago. So Waters still leads the conference. Oh, yeah. Uh, his record right now is 134 and 34. Esdale trying to figure something here, and he'll be open through the first half. He's still left with a 1 5 7 10 after two balls. Of course, Esdale and Waters were both our A and B champions last year. That's right. Uh, Waters, the A champ, and Esdale. <laughs> and he moved up to the A division. Yeah. So a nine box for Dan Esdale, and that leaves him with a disappointing 42 half. But there's a lot of bowling to go. Make it 43, I'm sorry. It was a late action. And a 10 box for Waters. So at the halfway point in game one for our home bowlers, Waters is at 60. Dan Esdale at 43. And now our visiting bowlers come up. Jeremy Seaholm on your right. Mike Nardone on your left. Seaholm is bowling versus Esdale. And Nardone is bowling versus Waters. Mark, Mike Nardone was on the mic recently, and, and uh, I was listening. He was excellent. He was a lot oh, of fun. Oh, yeah, he is. I used to bowl on a team with him, a summer team, and we had a blast. He's a fun guy. Seaholm on his first ball of the match. He's on the three pin and leaves a Cleary. I appreciate his insights into the game, too. Uh, any, any of these bowlers have them, but um, you know, Mike's just amusing with them. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I've had fun covering him, too. We've had a good time. So Mike's shooting at the 1, 6, 10, and picks it up nice and neat. See, Holmes left with just the 7 pin, so spare in the first for Nardone, matching Waters' spare in the first. And see, Holmes with a 9 box. And after 1 box, which doesn't really matter ultimately, but he's down 1 pin from Dan Esdale. Oh, it's 1 50th of the match. It's 2% of the match here. Yeah, well, okay. Every box is 2% of the match. And that's Bob in his role as our statistician. <laughs> there was, that's and a that's good 2% a right there, huh? That was a strike. That makes up for the nine, the, the dismal nine box. And a strike for Nardone on spare, and it puts him ahead of... Uh, Whoa, baby. He's uh, He knows when you're bowling Justin, you got to hit early and hit often because Justin has, is going to come on strong. So Just so like that, he's at 30. Matching strikes early in the game for Seaholm and Nardone. See home trying to put a double up, and he's on the two pin, gets eight. One eight left. Nardone crossed over into the one three pocket. His ball breaks from left to right, and he took out seven to start the four seven ten. See home looking at the one eight, trying to pick that up. And there yeah. it goes. So uh, made a great bid throwing the one at it, didn't hit it, but a piece of wood came back. Nardone. Look at that. Splits the pins, and he has three in a row. So a 10 fill for both bowlers. Puts Jeremy at 29. Puts Mike Nardone at 40 after two, and they're filling spares now. And so both have taken a lead in the, in the game. Seaholm on the three pin, but gets the Millis eight. Nardone, that was a nice shot in the pocket, and sometimes that doesn't work. And this time it... He put six in the fill, so he's at 56 after three. Seaholm's at 47 after three. Seaholm's looking at the one, two, and just gets the two. Nardone's looking at a triangle there of the five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, good bid on it. Trying to ki kick that eight over to the seven, but just takes out the five and nine. So Mike, Mike Nardone comes in with an average of 113. Justin Waters at 130. That's a standard deviation of difference. The uh, standard deviation That's up in there is 15 pins. There's a statistician talking yeah. again. That means, uh, you know, I'd expect 16% of the time Nardone's going to win these if they bowl average. Well, he's, he's got himself pumped up. He ate his Wheaties this morning, apparently. Ready to go. Take on the challenge of bowling against Justin Waters. And Seaholm puts six in his first ball. And that's the three, four, six, ten. Nardone's got a hail, hay bale on the other side. A great bid by Jeremy, but couldn't get that to come off the wall. Nardone just goes wide to the right, takes out just the ten. He's got four left, so doesn't want to close with the six box. But at six, he's a, even with six, he's a seventy at, at the half. 
10 box for Seaholm for 67 at the half. And Nardone cleans up the diamond, and he's at 74. So halfway through game one, our visiting bowlers both lead Jeremy Seaholm 67 to 43 versus Dan Esdale, and Mike Nardone 74 to 60 versus Justin Waters. And here come our home bowlers, and they've swapped lanes as they should. And I'm going to start looking at our video, so I'm off our stats page, Bob. So I want to be okay. We co have cognizant of our of our comments. And we I see I see we have a good viewership already. All right, everybody, give us an audio check in case you're uh, something's not coming through so clearly. Sometimes I'm I'm a little low on my levels. I hear you loud and clear. Okay, <laughs> so a pair of eight drops. Yep, a three six for Waters with wood in between. That wood could get tricky. And a 6-10 for Esdale. So here comes Waters on a spare attempt. Picks it up. He plays the inside of that three pin, which is the probably the only way to make that. And Esdale with his first spare of the game. So that puts Justin a 70 plus a ball and Esdale a 53 plus a ball. And Esdale's got some work to do to catch up with Jeremy. And, and uh, honestly, so does jo Justin here. So on to fill for Justin Waters in box six. 70 plus this ball. And he goes wide to the left. And is that seven pin going to go? Well, it's eight and a fill. One seven. Ezzy with a seven drop. Seven, eight, ten. So he's at 60 after six. Waters at 76 after six. And Justin nicely picks up that spare, carries the one to the seven, so a spare in the eighth for Justin Waters. And Esdale sent it the right way, but it went behind the ten pin, so open in the seven. All right, Greg, uh, you say I'm a little bit low. Is that better? I see Greg Packer commenting. Don Devish. And uh, some others watching. Please comment. All right, check my levels again. I'm gonna raise everybody's levels. Yeah, raise me up. No yelling like Paul, okay? No, I don't do that. Hey! There's a hammer by Waters. He's still right on spare. Esdale in the right pocket. Putting up a side here. All right, as he looking at the. Two, four, six, and just the four takes out the middle of the numbers, but the left of the pins. And has an eight box, so he's a 78 after eight, two under par right now. He definitely wants to get a, um, a mark in the next two. It'll be tough for him to win this one. Waters at 108 plus a two ball fill. Looking for four in a row. And gets the Kaliri right. Four horsemen, so five on his first ball. Esdale nicely on the head pin, a tad full. And gets a split. Um, hoping that Wood helps him. I don't know that it will. So Waters on a spare attempt. Second ball in his fill. And makes it a nine fill. Oh. So he closes the eighth box with a 117. Esdale trying to pick up this and uh, can't get anything to go. Waters on the 10 attempt. Gets it. 10 box puts him at 127 after nine. Esdale trying to get a couple out of here. Misses everything. A seven box puts him at 85 after nine. All right, box 10 of game one for Justin Waters. He's at 127 after nine, as you can see on the board. Head pin hit, just full. Spread eagle minus the six pin plus the nine pin. So I don't know what you call it, but that's what I called it. Esdale also on the head pin, leaves a triangle right plus a seven pin. We've been seeing that, that kind of leave a lot in Millis lately. A back triangle and one more pin. Hmm. One 
Waters will be open. Esfield goes too far to the right. So he'll be under 100 for this game. Not, not typical of Dan. I'm sure he'll come back. You know, he was 6 of 10, though. He, he had a lot of splits. Yeah. He finished with four straight splits here, and he had one in the fourth. Oh, that's five splits. That's, that's really tough to take. That is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Millis is a hot house, but I've noticed, you know, bowling in other centers, too, we get a lot of splits here, too, on the head pin. So it's a, it's a mixed blessing. All right, Waters, Waters finished with a 136. That means that uh, he has a 62-pin lead as Mike Nardone comes up to finish his back half. Remember, he was open in the fifth, so is Jeremy Seaholm. Seaholm only needs 27 to uh, win his first two ACST pins. So Nardone was wise in putting up a big first half. Oh. Is that going to go? And it's all but wiggling, but not going to go. Seaholm. Leaves a check mark left. He's on it, both bowlers on a head pin. Nardone looking at a seven pin with some wood in front of it. Just keep it out of the gutter, it ought to go. Yep. And he does. Right on the pin. Spare in the seventh or sixth for Nardone. Puts him at 84 and a ball after six. And a spare for Jeremy Seaholm. 77 and a ball after six. On the fill in box eight, or box seven, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Sorry about that. And Nardone goes light in the left pocket and puts eight on it. The score system shows seven, but we got it fixed. Jeremy does wow, all, nine drop. <laughs> all but strike there. Leaves just the 10 pin and wood wiggling but down there. Another mark oh, for man. Nardone. He is putting on the gas here. He's pulling a standard deviation above his average. That's what he's got to do here, isn't it? Yeah. Nice hit by Seaholm. That wood wasn't great, but he capped it, it looks like. And matching spares again. So that will win the game for Jeremy. But a long ways to go still. Nardone off on the two pin, but gets a break and puts seven in the fill for 109 after seven. He's up nine pins. Actually, 11 pins on Justin in completed boxes, but he's up against a strike where Justin filled it with nine, so he can't give up and get lackadaisical to get, but he missed his object pin and leaves an open box in box eight, just trying to clean up the 10. Jeremy on a spare attempt, gets another one. Three in a row. And Nardone takes a nine box, so he's a 118 after eight, and that puts him up one pin over Waters in completed boxes, who's at 117 after he filled that strike. And then Justin threw uh, open boxes after that, 10 box and a nine box. So Nardone's not out of the woods yet, but he's starting with a nine. Just a head pin to shoot at. Seaholm on the fill gets a half Worcester left for a two fill, 115 after eight for, for him. And Nardone picks up the spare. Oh, my goodness. How many spare marks is that for him so far? Uh, More marks than opens, that's for sure. Five marks, yeah. He, he's got, he's got four, four spares and a, a strike. And Waters tries to spare the spread eagle, or the half Worcester leave, and uh, puts a good bid on it, but leaves the four and seven. And just the seven goes, so he's at 124. After nine. Nardone's at 128 plus a ball. So with a decent fill, he ought to win this month, this game. And that's a five fill. Great that shoot. Puts him at 133 plus the five there. He's at 138. He's won the game. Eight of, eight of ten on the head pin there. Yeah. Jeremy finished six of ten. Uh, he tailed off there a little at the end. And an open box that nine pin didn't want to get hit by anything and Seaholm shooting at the one six eight ten for a spare bid and doesn't get the eight pin, eight pin to go ten box for Nardone for a very respectable 143 to 136 victory over Justin Waters and a ten box for Seaholm puts him at 134 so some mm -hmm. great scoring here so far in our match, and 
Not too many people take points from Justin, but Nardone just did. Okay, call with that. I'm going to take the scoreboard down and fix it up while you uh, uh, carry the the play-by-play, -play. Dan. I can do that. All right, we're coming up into game two. Dan Esdale on your right, trying to come back from his first string defeat. Waters threw a good th 136 game, but still went down to Mike Nardone with 143. Esdale starts off on a four pin, takes out three. Waters was on the six, got a little helicopter action in the back, and he has took out four. Nice spare by Dan Esdale. Recovered nicely from that first ball. Waters with a similar leave on the other side. And can't get that seven pin to carry. So an open box in the first for Justin Waters. And now trying to clean up a 10. Just a seven pin. Goes right at it and picks it up, no problem. 10 box for Waters. As Hill's got um, a lot of ground to pick up here, but he um, has a long ways to go. So the way to do it is to fill your spares well, and he did with an eight. A four, seven is all that's left, two together. Waters on a first ball or in the second frame. Lisa Cleary, right, the four horsemen, one, three, six, eight, and ten. Esdale just misses. He's at 18 after one. Waters just off to the three pin. His ball broke a little bit, missed the head pin. And a 10 box for Esdale, 28 after two. Nicely done. And a 10 box for Waters for 20 after two. So 28 after two for Dan Esdale, 20 after two. Both bowlers are perfect two boxes in. Esdale, nice ball. A little full on a head pin. He's left with a 4-7-10 split. Lots of wood down there. Waters on the two pin. Takes out just two. The two and the eight leaves a half Worcester. Esdale's... Got wood in front of those and wood that might move over to the right. That's what he's hoping for here. Let's see if it works. Well, the wood took out the back. The wood moved to the right, but somehow the four pin survived that onslaught. Waters trying to spare a half Worcester. He's on the head pin, but only gets a couple more. And another 10 box for Dan Esdale for 38 after three. Waters trying to get a 10 out of this. Check mark plus two to the left. Almost does, but it leaves us two, so it's an eight box for 28 after three for Waters. No marks yet. Ed Steele on box four. On the head pin, a little bit full again. But he's getting a nice break here. Is that going to take that other one out? No, it does not. So nine drops for both. Uh, there's, a t there's a strike for Waters. We don't see that very often for a slow oh, strike from Justin. Usually, yeah. usually when Waters hits a strike, you know it. <laughs> so spare for Dan Evsdale in box four. Strike for Justin Waters in box four. Evsdale at 48 plus a ball. Waters at 38 plus two. And a nice pocket hit for Esdale for a nine drop. A seven pin fell late, so 57 after four. Waters buries that on the head pin. Eight in his first ball. Came in kind of full, but did not get a split. And uh, Esdale just misses to the left. Waters shooting at the 4-7. All gone. Spare on strike. 
Makes up for all those open boxes. 48 after four, 58 and a ball after five. And Esdale uh, picks up the 10 for a 67. Didn't leave a pin on the deck. And that's a much better half than he had last time. The, uh, I believe 42 or 43. So home bowlers or visiting bowlers coming up. Such a habit of the second bowlers being the home bowlers. Uh, both these, uh, Dan and uh, Waters, prefer to um, go first when they're the home bowlers. Most, most bowlers prefer to go second. I do. Jeremy starts out with a nine drop, leaving just a 10 pin. Piece of wood that was just a tad short, didn't touch that 10 pin. And Nardone punched out a half Worcester plus a five pin. So just three in his first ball, and Jeremy misses that spare. Great bid by Mike Nardone, but the 7 and 10 don't go down. So 7-10 split for a 10. And there's a 10 box for Jeremy. He's disappointed he didn't pick up that pin before. Nardone's got the 7-10, lots of wood. He could just pick up one, or he could go for it. He's going for it, and just picks up one. Nine box to open for Nardone. And a 10 box for Seaholm. First ball and second box. Jeremy Seaholm is on the head pin. And we're not going to get a strike. We're going to get a nine, but it was close. Nardone left with the 3-6 pin. So Jeremy's... Probably going to go right at that pin. He's got wood to the right. He's on the pin for a spare. At that time, he got the single. Nardone on the two. No problem. Spares for both bowlers in the second. Now to catch up with Dan Esdale, Jeremy needs to put eight on this. He's got 20 after two plus this ball. And um, Nardone only needs to put one on his to catch up. And there's 10. That's a strike for Jeremy Seaholm. So wow. He's at 38 after two, 48 and, a ball, and two balls after three. Nardone just put three on his. He's at 22. Nice try. And we have what we call the castle right, five, six, it's 10, but he's got a big juicy piece of wood in the middle. I don't see that line up very often. And, well, didn't carry the five, so it was more... Uh, of a tease than useful, but it's still a nine box. 31 after three. He's up three pins on waters, but now he's up against a 20 box. Seaholm at 48 plus two balls. First ball in yep. the fill. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Seaholm was at 40. Well, um, that's a double. <laughs> yeah, so two strikes. So, yeah, sometimes I have a little, looks a little blurry to me up there. So it looked, that zero looks he was like at 40. He was, yeah. he was at 40. Now he's at, uh, I got it. Nardone with a beautiful spare on the fourth box. Picked up that line of three and two in the left. So Marks in the fourth for both. Seaholm is on a double strike right now. Yep. Going for a triple. Oh, almost. It's gone. Oh, no, it's gone. Triple, triple strike. strike. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeremy Seaholm. Jeremy has a famous triple strike he did on that TV show. I believe it was Channel 5 some years back. And there's a strike for Nardone, strike on spare. So Jeremy hit a triple and jumped so high, he almost hit, uh, put his fist in the ceiling. Um, that was something to see. So look up the video of Jeremy Seaholm triple strike, and that was something else. So here we are halfway through the second game, and our visiting bowlers came on strong. He's at 70 through three. 90 and a ball through four and 100 and counting at the half, Jeremy is. And so no, uh, no lead is safe against Jeremy today. Waters on a spare. He's at 58 and a ball. He's behind Nardone at the moment. That's right. Well, Nardone's a and uh, nice ball. 51 through four, 61 and two balls, right? Right. So that seven fill puts Waters at 65 after five. Nardone, or uh, Esdale, sorry, uh, takes out everything but the one, two. One variant of what we call the Millis eight when you go off to the side and get the pins to go and still 
leave only two. Oh, nice, nice hit for Justin, but the left pin didn't carry. And only the left pin went for Dan. So both bowlers still have a pin standing after two balls. Ten box for Waters, 75 after six. Ten box for Esdale, 77 after six. But the way their opponents are bowling right now, they need to put some marks up again. But they got four boxes to do it in this game, so They're, they have a solid foundation right now. Six boxes in. Waters first ball in the seventh. Off to the three. One, two, seven, ten. Esdale. He's on the head pin a bit full. Leaves him two and two. Two, four, six, ten. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, two, four, six, ten. I got it right. I'm doubting myself. Shouldn't do that. On a spare attempt. Waters uh, just comes in on the two and leaves the one, ten. Esdale trying to carry this over. Just gets the left pin, the four pin. So Waters is looking at the 110 to shoot at, no wood to play with. He's pretty good at picking this up, but that time he didn't. So a nine box for Justin Waters, seven box for Esdale, and missed the right two pins. All right, so seven boxes in, both, both uh, 84. Three to go. And here comes Waters on box eight. On the head pin and a 4-6 split. Second time we've seen that in this match. Asdale over on the 6 pin takes out that back 3. This is makeable spare if you put it in a 1-2 pocket. Waters has a challenge here with that 4-6. Some wood there. See how he plays it. He's going to the right. Oh, he gets what a it. shot. For gets it. Waters. Not an easy shot at all. Asdale to the left. is left with 5. So wants to get out of here with an eight or nine at least. So he's on the head pin, gets the nine. Nothing wrong with that on that leap. So that puts Justin at 94 plus a ball. And I had a little trouble reading that. It's 93. I'm looking at the scoreboard. I wasn't looking at Bob's spreadsheet. So 93 after eight for Dan Esdale. Solid head pin hit. And uh, just six go down. Esdale off to the three pin. He's having trouble finding that head pin right at the moment. So this time, Waters still has a four and six up again, but also the three and the ten. And just the six pin goes that time for him. So open in the ninth. Esdale trying to spare this. Great attempt, but leaves the six ten. Waters picks up that split. That was a 3-4-10 split. And Esdale picks up a 10-2. So Waters is at 110 after 9. Esdale at 103 after 9. Hoping to mark out here for these guys. Waters on the head pin solid again. And he's left with a 2-4-6. Esdale in the pocket, and why not another split? So that's what we talk about here sometimes, a uh, hot house, but head pins frequently result in splits here. Waters makes a great effort on that, takes up the left side. Nothing picked up that six pin. As he gets it, nice spare for Dan Esdale on a tough split. Ten box for Waters, puts him at 120. And Esdale's at 113 plus a ball. His opponent coming back up in a moment is on a triple strike, so he needs a big fill, but gets a small fill. Just uh, three in that one, so 116. Yep. All right. Now, have we seen a four bagger yet in um, ACST streams? I don't. I, I don't have not so. seen a four bagger. Well, we have an opportunity for one here, so let's see if he can do it. Mm -hmm. 
Nice head pin hit by Nardone. First ball on a strikes uh, fill. Oh, oh, he's a little full on the head pin. Seven in his first ball, so that closes out boxes three and four. So after four, he's at 87, but we still have a strike fill ball to go for no. box five. And he gets it. That gives Jeremy Seaholm 107 for the half. 87, yeah. 107 and 77 for Nardone after six. Seaholm just threw five marks in a row, a spare, three yep. strikes and a spare. So he didn't get the fourth strike, but boy, did he put on a nice spare for us. That's one for the replay reels. On to Phil. Just one. Just the two pin. All right. That only puts him at 118 after six. So he's already won the game six boxes in. And in the pocket. Trying to get another spare. Really tough one to get. And uh, four left. Nardone, in the meantime, has a nine box for 86 after seven, and he's got a two-pin lead over Waters at the moment. That's and uh, I don't know, J Jeremy's just on fire here. Yeah, that, I didn't think that, I thought only the triangle would go, but something came back, took out the head pin, so the only pin he's left was in the first box. Nardone on the head pin, leaves five. Seaholm just misses a head pin, takes out eight. Got a break with that head pin going. Nardone on the object. Leaves a triangle. So Seaholm trying to get another mark here is on a 6 10. Just two pins to shoot at. Wow, goes wide to the right and leaves the six. So an open box for Seaholm. All right, trying to close out with a 10. And it's a nine box, so another pin's been left on the deck for Jeremy, only two, but 137 after eight. Nardone's at 94, he's fallen behind Waters by six pins now, but he's up against two open boxes, both 10s. Needs to mark. Drop seven, one, three, six. Seaholm, this ball took a late break and went to the right, and he's left with the one, two, four. Oh, or don't no. just misses a head. Unless it, no. Started to make that that ground pre turn, but it didn't didn't finish the job. All right, so an open box is going to need a mark in the tenth if he wants to win game two. Seaholm with another spare. That's six marks in this game. Ten box for Nardone. One oh four after nine. He's down six from Water, so he needs a spare six to tie, a spare seven to win. Jeremy's just putting pins up. He's uh, already won the game a few boxes back. All right, Nardone has... He's got to make it. It's a makeable spare, but it's not an easy one. Seaholm was seven on the fill, and he's got the five, seven, eight. So he's at 154 after nine. Nardone, great effort on that one, and no. all but the 10. Justin so. will win string two. Yes. Seaholm misses. He's over 160 right now. 10 box for Nardone for a 114. So two points for Justin. And Seaholm with a 162 game. Hey, how about, how about 296 through two for Jeremy? Well, a 105 gives, a 104 gives him a 400. All right. I'm going to leave the scoreboard up for just a second while we uh, review that officially. 120 to 114, Waters wins. 162 to 116, those have been confirmed. So it matches two apiece in the Waters Nardone um, battle. And Seaholm leads four to nothing. 
as Dan Asdale gets things started on lane 22. I'm going to hand the play-by-play -play over to over to Dan Castle and catch up on the spares. All right, so Asdale off to the right on a three-pin, leaves a one-two and the nine-pin. Waters ball one in, in game three. On the head pin, solid, and what looked like a strike ball resulted in a 4-10 split. Asdale goes to the right, leaves the 1-2, the open in box one. Is he trying to make a tough split? Does he take it off the wall, or does he kick the pin over? He's going for the wall and uh, puts it in the pit, but doesn't carry the 10. 10 box for Esdale. Waters looking for a 10 box, just has to get the 10 pin to get it. And uh, just misses. So a nine box for Waters in the first. All right, let me see if I can catch up with everybody here. All right, Esdale off to the three. Takes out four. One, three, six, five, eight, nine back there. Waters in the pocket and picks up a strike. That was a very typical water strike where there's no doubt. As he looking to pick up some ground. He's down by a lot in total right now at the two with that performance by Seaholm. So a 10 box for Esdale, 20 after two. Waters is at 19 and a two ball fill. As he looking for his first mark. In the pocket. A little light leaves five. Drop five, left five. Waters looking for a double. Came in on the pocket, a little to the left. Seven in his first ball. A three, five, ten left. Esdale just drifts to the right, left a little bit. Takes out a few more. He's going to be open in box three. Waters trying to spare this. And the 10 pin doesn't carry, so nine and a fill. Puts him at 28 after two, and Esdale with a nine box, 29 after three. Ten box for Justin, 38 after three. All right, box four, Dan Asdale. He's on the head pin that time. And the two, seven left. So a mini split. Waters is on the head pin two full that time. Spread eagle minus the 10. So just five down. Castile goes wide to the right, throws that in the ocean and doesn't get any fish for it. Waters trying to spare this. Get some great action left to right. But leaves the 3 7. Asdale just picks up the 2 pin for 9 bucks, 38 after 4. And Waters with a 9 box for 47 after 4. See, we have a lot of viewers here today. And hello, Carrie Ann just joined us. Just off the head pin. For Esdale, leaves the one three seven. So he wants to see this spare to close out the half. Waters at 47 after four. He's on the head pin again, and another split. So he's been on the head pin, I think, five for yeah, five. Yeah, he is five for five, yep. But a lot of splits here. I see one, two, three, four red numbers up there. And uh, just picked up the two pin. Didn't get it to carry the four or run over to the ten. Esdale with an eight box for 46 after five. And an eight box for Waters gives him 55 through the half. All right. Our visiting bowlers come up. Jeremy Seaholm on fire so far today. With a 134 and a 162. And Nardone 
Not bowling too bad himself with a 143 and a 114 so far. So first ball in game three for Seaholm is on the head pin to the left slightly. Takes out six. Nardone is on the, three, on the two pin. Takes out eight. So, and this is an interesting incident where hitting the head pin was less favorable than hitting the two pin. Uh, great bit on that one, but the 10 pin didn't go. Nardone's looking at the 1-9 with wood in between. If he hits the head pin, he should get it. Oh. And he hit the wood. Neither. He wants that ball back. Nine box for Seaholm. And uh, it's a little tougher without that wood in the middle, so a nine box for Nardone. All right, Seaholm coming into box two. He's just down one pin right at the moment. And that time he's on the two pin. It didn't help him very much either. Nardone this time hits the head pin. And everybody's got a split. One, three, seven, ten for Seaholm. And the six, five, six, I think. No, three, five, ten for Nardone. Seaholm trying to pick this up. Just to the right. He's left for the five, seven, ten. I'm sorry, is that the one? I think that's the one. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right. Hi, low Jack. Hi, low Jack. It's morning, everybody. Anybody who knows me well knows I'm not good in the morning. All right, and uh, ten, uh, nine box for Nardone, eight box for Waters, 17 for after Seaholm. All right, let me rewind here. All right, that's okay. All right, uh, Esdale's up 20 to 17 in completed boxes against Seaholm. And Waters is up 28 to 18 in completed boxes versus Mike Nardone. Seaholm on the two pin. Nardone puts a solid head pin hit and is rewarded with a strike. Wow. So Seaholm has five up there and goes to the right. He wanted to be in that one three pocket. Just missed the head pin, so he'll be open to box three. It's a tight one on that side right now. And is it going to go there? Ah, it's a rocking, but it's a nine. So 35 after four for Seaholm. Both bowlers in that match. All right, Jer are Jeremy, Jeremy's at 26. 26? Yep. Okay, yep, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. He's, he's, he's just he's open. All right, so it's a three-pin game on that side. Nardone, first ball and a strike. As the mill is eight, the one-two. So eight in the first ball. That'll give him a lead. No, it won't. Put him down two. He's got to pick up these two to catch up. And Seaholm to the left is left with a one-seven. Nardone gets the spare. And so now we're knotted up after three on that side, 38 each, and uh, he's on a mark in the fourth. See home with an eight. Puts him at 34, down four pins after four from uh, Esdale. Nardone is up one, but he's got a fill. He's 48 plus a ball versus Justin's 47. And that's just a story of two marks versus one mark right now. Six drop for Jeremy. Off to the left, and off to the left also is Nardone. Just puts five on this. Right, six. On this. Six on oh, that no, one. Oh, yeah. no, seven pin fell. Okay, yep. seven pin fell late. So six in the fill. Puts him at 54 after four. Now has the lead. Seaholm, nice spare. Looking for that first spare in that game, and there it is. Nardone, a light hit on the head pin. So he's open in box five. Seaholm's at 44 plus a ball versus 46 at the halfway point. So a fill should put him ahead. Nardone with an <laughs> eight box is at 62 to Waters 55. Okay. All right. We haven't gotten a lot into stats here. When double header, we just there's a lot more action. We don't have a lot of time to go through stats. Um, but um, the head pins should be accurate. I've been keeping pretty close attention to them. Justin Waters at 76 percent. 
after that five for five in the first half of this third string. All right, so he's at 55. He's down seven pins in this game right now. And oh, uh, that's his first uh, miss on the head pin. Punch spoke out. that one into existence. So matching half Worcesters, one on the left, one on the right. It's a makeable spare. It's pretty when it goes. And there it goes. Oh, what oh, did oh. I tell you? Was that pretty or what, gang? He just he tripped. It, with that, with his ball speed, he can he can do that with a, the thin ball. That's, Waters. that's usually where I shoot at it. Make it sometimes. Waters was measured at 36 miles an hour at the 36.9 miles an hour at the head pin. Probably uh, add three to that. About about 39 or 40 out of the hand. Okay, so. A seven box for Esdale puts him at 53 after six. Seven pins under par right now. Waters on the fill. And getting a lot of great late action there for a nine fill. And did it, did it pick it up up there? It looks like it did. So 74 after six. Just the head pin to shoot at Esdale with another punch out. Same side as before. Spare for Waters, as Dale trying to spare the half Worcester. He's coming in on the pocket side, and he's left with three. So two ways to shoot that. You can come in light on the head pin on, through the hole, running the risk of going through the hole, but it's it goes a lot of times that way. Or you can come in in the pocket. So a lot of bowlers will try for the inside shot first, and then... If they miss it or put it through the hole or just pick up the right side or the, the left side re respectively, then try to make a safety shot after that and pick up some pins. So Waters puts only five in his fill. There's a head pin for Dan. So Waters is at 89 after seven. Closes out the seventh box. And he's got the one, three, six, seven, nine. And wood in between the head pin and the seven. So let's see. Oh. <sighs> All Real but close. the nine. All but the nine. That is the nine, isn't it? Or is that a six? Esdale with the mark. Is it second ball? Oh. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. That's, I, I, I misunderstood. We're a little question. loopy today, everybody. Right. Ten, ten for Waters. Well, ten for Waters, whether it was a six or the nine, because I couldn't quite see through them. It's a ten. 99 after eight. Esdale's a 72 plus a ball. That's right. And Waters going into box nine. And he's on the th two pin and leaves a Kaliri. Esdale on a fill. That's a big one. And eight's a good one. So he's at 80 after eight, right back to par. And just the 6-10 to shoot at. Waters trying to pick up this Kaliri. And he goes to the 6'10", so that's the shot Esdale wants to make, the 6'10". And oh, it looked not like quite. It looked like the wood yeah. would deflect the ball over, but it didn't work. So a 9 box for Waters, 108 after 9, and a 9 box for Esdale. That time he was on his object for 89 after 9. Needs a mark to get to 100. Waters needs a mark to get to 120. So first ball into box 10. It's in the pocket. Just a triangle. Esdale with his first ball in box 10. He's in the left pocket. And hoping that pin will go. But that you know what? Even though it's a 3-7 split, that wood's not in a bad position. Makes it much more possible to pick that up. We'll see. Waters shooting in a triangle. You got All it. gone. All gone. Hesdale at this 3 7 split. Oh. I can't believe that. Went wide to the right on the wood, and it didn't even pick up the three pin. Are you kidding me? And uh, Dan's quite frustrated there with a 97 finish, leaving the door open for red hot Jeremy Seaholm. All right, 118 plus this ball for Waters on the fill in the tent. Oh, no. And another punch out, and 
Justin's not happy about that, and I don't blame him. No. So 120 even. So that means Mike's only got to have 58. Water's averaging 130 in ACSTA action this season. 120 for his last two after throwing a 136 in the first. Is Nardone on a fill? No. No. Okay. So Nardone with a head pin hit takes out seven to five, eight, ten left. Wood in front of it that might be helpful. Jeremy is on a fill. He's at 44 plus this fall. Oh, that's good uh, concentration. But Yeah, Jer Jeremy's uh, remarkable that way. He throws one of the smoothest balls in the game. And uh, puts six in his fill for a 50 half. So he does not have to mark to win, but he does if he wants to get to a 400 triple. Wow. Wow, that was just about perfect. Jeremy's very precise. Anybody who's watched him for years, I've known Jeremy since... Oh my goodness! Over t probably over 20 years when he when we all bowled out of Natick. And um, 60, 60 for Jeremy, 71 for Nardone. Nardone right now is down three pins in completed boxes. He needs to get 50 pins in four boxes to win this string. Well, this is going to help. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeremy with an eight drop, the one three. Nardone's just got the three pin slightly off spot. He's got wood right beside it. It could be a problem, but he Not went to the correct side on the left and picked no up the No problem at all. Made it look easy, but I'll tell you what, that may not have been as easy as it looked. Seaholm misses that one, the one three. Still in the lead right now. That put Nardone in a pretty good position for this string. It's not over yet. So Seaholm okay. with a nine box, 69 after seven. As Dale had 62 after seven. All right, Jeremy needs 29 in his next three boxes. No room for error there. All right, so Nardone puts seven on his fill. And... Uh, that puts him at 87. 88. I think 88, 88 yeah. yep, there was a score correction. Um, so he's down one pin right now, and he's looking at the 1, 4, 7, and he gets it. That 7 pin I didn't think got hit, but it was hit enough to, to go down. So two spares in a row for Nardo and puts him back in this thing. And Jeremy missed uh, a, a two pin um, yeah. group again. That was the five pin that time. Just going to oh, just off the object. Both times it was a back pin. That is a huge pin. All right, so he's well, a, yeah, he's a seventy-nine. Probably the same size as all the other pins, but <laughs> <laughs> metaphorically a large pin. Although when it's a large pin from the bowler's point of view, sometimes it looks very small down there. How do you like that? Oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, that was a big one. That that was big. So eight in the fill, 106. Head pin hit for Seaholm and breaks up the split and has two together again, but wood in front of him. And Nardone misses the spare, so he's open here. He's ahead right now. Yeah, he's he's in good shape. And this time Jeremy gets the two. And Nardone with a 10, so at the ninth box, he is at 116. He only needs five pins to win this string. He's in great shape. And Jeremy is at 89 plus a ball. He's up against a 97. And that will win the string for Nardone with that seven drop. Seaholm on the fill. And a seven fill it is, yeah, one, it for three, seven, and that wins the string for him. And just one pin shy of a 400 set right now, right? Yep. And there's a spare right. that put Jeremy over 400 for his triple. And eight box for Nardone. He didn't need it. Other than for total, so he's at 124 to 120. Nardone wins game three, so two points to Mike, Mike Nardone.
Jeremy is one game three also. He picks up another two points. So far, he's that makes six for six. And Seaholm looking for a fill here at 106 plus a ball. And why Good. not nine? All right, so a 115 for Seaholm. A little quieter than his 162 in the All last right. one, but that puts him at 411 for three. Nice. Mike Nardone at 381 to 376 has a five. Five pin lead in the total, as well as a two game to one lead, a ACST points. Jeremy in commanding lead over Dan Esdale. Three, three games to none, six ACST points to none. And he's up over 100 pins in total right now. He's 105 up. So Esdale's got to have a couple of big games here to threaten in total. Or at least he doesn't want to get swept. So. It's a tight one on the Waters versus Nardone in terms of total. It's 381 in favor of Nardone to Waters 376. Both of them are similar head pin hits, aren't they? 67% for Waters, 62% for Nardone. And add that one to the head pin hits for Esdale. And the splits with 364. Waters first ball game four. He's solid on the head pin, and it's, that's a no doubt strike. Esdale tries to break up that split for a spare and uh, leaves the left pin. Picks up the two. And a nine box. So Dan Esdale starts with a nine. Justin Waters. After one box, still could potentially get a 300. It's highly unlikely, but he's got 11 strikes to go. Esdale with a lemon drop left. Waters, box two, first fill on a strike. And uh, we will not be seeing a 300 game today, but that's okay. Five in his first ball. I don't think we'll ever see a 300 game, Bob. I'm afraid not. I still haven't seen a 200 live. I mean, I was right down the right in front of that 199 that Josh Daly threw on Sunday. Well, we had a 226 thrown on these two lanes back in September. 227, right? 227, you're, yeah. you're right. So that is the house record, and that was set here on lanes 21 and 22 by Pete Crawford. And if I remember correctly, it was spare, spare, six strikes, 10, 10. I don't remember the spare fills, but I think they were both nine drops. I may be wrong on that. There was a 10 in there, right? Oh, it was there a perfect was a, there game. Was a, there was a split, yeah. It was a perfect game. He got two tens at the end. Otherwise, he could have threatened the um, the world record in Candlepin, which is 245. And he picked up another mark or two. All right. So Waters is at 27 after two. Esdale at 18. Trying to pick this up, and he does. Backdoor hit on that, and a spare in the third on that really tough split. Waters has an easier shot. He's got double wood in front of that pin, though. Another piece beside it, so should go, and it did go. So a spare in the third for both bowlers. And that puts Dan Esdale at 28 plus this ball, looking to get some points here. And that's a left pocket hit and a nine drop, so nine in the fill, 37 after three. Waters on the fill. In there, and that's another no doubter. So 10 in the fill, 47, and a strike in the fourth, 47 after three. Spare for Esdale, and that puts him at 47 after four plus a fill. So Waters is at 57 plus a two ball fill. And uh, after four boxes, he's only got one open. He's got a strike, uh, nine, a spare, and a strike. Esdale goes to the left, but he's getting a late break. So it's going to be seven in the fill for 54 after four. Waters on the fill for the strike. On the head pin again. Late break, so eight in his first ball. And a three, what's that, three eight split. My writer's at three four. He's got some wood there that may be helpful. As still is open in the fifth. Nope, bounce that one down there. So eight. 
is a fill and a strike for 65 after four. As deal with that, 10 is a 64 after five. And an eight box for Waters for a 73 half. So coming up to the visiting bowlers who are bowling second today. Seaholm on the right, bowled 4-11 in his first three. After three games, he's over 100 pins ahead of Esdale for total. And we saw a triple, those of you who were watching earlier, with his 162 string included a triple strike. So first ball in box four in game four. Oh, what and a there's rip. a strike for Jeremy Seaholm. And are we going to get one for Mike Nardone? No, we have a short pin, so just a nine drop. Nardone's been bowling very well today, too. Been bowling above his average. So, okay. open box for Mike. He was up against a strike by water, so he'll fall behind early. And still off to the left, so nine box for Mike Nardone. After box one, he's down nine pins. Justin had a very respectable 73 half. Jeremy on the strike. Off to the left, drop six. Nardone has seven and a drop. Both, he was on the head pin. And gets a split. Seaholm was on the two pin and does not get a split. And uh, for whatever reason, that 10 pin was missed by the flying wood, so it's a nine fill. Nardone picks up the spare on that tough split. That was a 3-6-4, I believe. 10 box for Seaholm. So Seaholm's at 29 after two. Up 11 pins on Esdale after two. And Nardone at 19 plus a fill. Waters had an open box in box two. So, but then he went spare strike eight. Seaholm, hoping that split breaks up, but he's got a 7-10 split. Nardone on the fill. On a two pin, takes out five. So he's at 24 after two. Seaholm's got wood here. We'll see which one he goes for. I'm leaning toward going to the one on the left, but I might be wrong. Jeremy's a much better bowler than I am. He caps it. Went to that one on the left. Caps it, picks up the 7 10 split. Nardone drifts to the right and picks up just a six pin, so he's got four left to shoot at. And that's a nine box. So Nardone at 33 after three, down 14 pins in completed boxes and up against a strike eight. Seaholm on a fill. And five. All right, now it's going to be eight. It's going to be nine. All right, it's eight in the fill. So got a lot of backdoor action there, and he's left for the one-four split. So 47 after three. Ten-pin lead over Esdale. Up against a spare seven. Nardone dropped five. There it is. Pick that up, no problem. 57 in a ball after four. Nope. And wide left. Wide to the left for Nardone. All right, we have Mike Smith and Dave Peterson warming up down on lanes 17 and 18. We were planning to live stream them, but I don't know if we're going to or not. So on the fill, Jeremy Seaholm, 57 in a ball. And just three in a fill. Nardone on the three pin drops nine. So Seaholm trying to pick up this half Worcester plus one and uh, picks up just a couple more. Nardone on a single pin spare attempt and misses to the left. And that's going to be damaging for him on this game because that'll put him under 50 and Waters had a 73 half. 
Jeremy trying to pick up the triangle has a six box for 66 after four or five. That one's tight. And that is a two pin game. All right, Mike ended with a 10 for 49. It's a 24 pin lead for Waters. Looking to even things up in ACST points. He's, he's now taking the lead in that in total. And Esdale looking for his first two points up against Jeremy Seaholm. He had working on two spares in his first half of this fourth string. Seaholm had three marks, I think. Yeah, he had three marks, but uh, only gained two pins on that. On that well, extra mark. That six box didn't help, and the yep. three fill didn't help. Waters on the head pin is rewarded with a split again. Spread eagle minus the two pin. SCL on the three pin. And we have a six drop. It's going to be seven. Seven. It's not looking any better uh, when those pins drop, but he's looking at the seven, nine, ten. The three pieces will do something. Yeah, he's got wood there. I think really could help. So I think on the red line in that first piece, and that's where he's going. He went to the left of it. Or the right of it, I'm sorry. Can't tell my left from right. Somebody's going to have to get a Sharpie out for me. Um, and there's a nine box for Waters for 82 after six. As deal with the nine box as well. And he's a 73 after six. ACST action here. As Dale's clearing wood in the channel. And Bob, if you want to watch the play by play for a second, let me check in with the other guys that are setting up for another okay. match. Okay, okay, Dan, I'll, I'll carry it for a sec. Okay. Justin Waters carrying a 24 pin lead through a nine in the six. He's first ball in the seventh box here. Just right leaves three pins. Beautiful ball and a nice covered nine drop for uh, Esdale. His 20th head pin of the match through 37 boxes. Waters misses the head pin again. It's gone. Esdale with his eighth spare of the match. Ten ninety-two for Waters. Trying to hold on to his big lead from the first half. Waters with a three-step approach. Let go of that one. 38 miles an hour. Beautiful head pin. Terrible split. Esdale throwing 32 out of the hand. Was off the head pin there, but ended up with eight in the fill. Puts him at 91. All right. So they're going to start. And they said if we want to come in midstream, we can move over. Okay. Up to us. Maybe. All right. That was another spare for Esdale. Putting up some good numbers here in the fourth. Looking for his first points. Okay. I'm back. Waters open so far on the back side with a couple of splits. Had a nine there. He's at 101. And Esdale's at 101 plus a fill, and he's making a move here, really putting an effort in to, to at least get a couple of points out of this. Nice nine drop by Waters, leaves a 10 pin. Esdale on a fill, and that's seven in a fill for 108 after eight. Waters just has one pin, just a 10 pin to shoot at. No problem. Beautifully done, very precise. As he trying to pick up that back triangle, and uh, his ball drifted a little to the left. It looked like it was heading out on it. And uh, open in the ninth. And at nine box for 117 after nine for Dan Esdale. 
Okay, Waters is at 111 plus a ball. Needs a mark to get to his average of 130-ish. There's one. No. Great fill. Great Leave, fill. Great fill leaves the six pin up. Esdale with an eight drops, four, seven left. Waters has wood in front of his pin. Is he going to go at it or try to spin the wood? With his power going at it, it might be the best option. He's trying to spin it. Works. Nice. nice. Fair in the ninth or in the tenth gives him a 130 plus a fill. And Esdale just misses his spare attempt. So the, he, he's a 117 after nine, and that's a nine box for a 126 string. That's his uh, high string so far. Yeah, Jer Jeremy's going to need a 61 to keep pace there, and he is not on a mark in the fifth. So, okay, so Waters with 130 plus this ball. And that's a six fill for a 136 game. Right. So he's got a pair of 136s and a pair of 120s so far today. Very Coming consistent. in very close to his average now. Uh, one, it's uh, 512, 128 average for the four. Well, Nardone needs a really big half here to catch up here on this one. He's at 49 after five. Yeah, uh, specifically he'll need an 88. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do the math. I just said really big. The Excel sheet is doing it for yeah, you. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I wasn't watching like. that. So, Seaholm's a 66. And Nardone will be open to box six. Seaholm's looking at a four horsemen left plus a 10. Oh, nice spare by Seaholm. Needs that to pick up a 61 half to win the string. Nardone leaves seven. Let's drop seven for a 56. And uh, so he's down uh, 26 pins right now. Okay. Off to the left. Four horsemen right plus it's seven pin. Seaholm on a spare. And then up against two. So his first ball is in there and drops a strike. Can't but do a better fill than that. Nardone is in the right spot, but the back two don't go. So Seaholm is at 86 after six. 96 in a two ball fill. And with that 10, Nardone's a 66 after seven. He's going to have to mark out. He needs 70 pins to catch up in three boxes. I did that without looking at the spreadsheet. Up. All right, that's a seven drop for Mike. One, two, four. All in a row. Jeremy's on a strike fill. Come on. Nope. All right, seven in the first ball. Four, or six, seven, ten split. Nardone just off. Leaves a head pin. Oh, that was oh, it. Wow. That was the magic one. Oh, beauty hey, there. That wow. was the he popped the six light into the wall and it bounced all the way back for the seven, Dan. That was beautiful, and that's a spare on strike. So two twenty boxes in a row for Seaholm. And uh he's just tearing it up today. Seventy five after eight for Nardone. And uh Castle Wright, five, six, ten. Seaholm on another fill. He's at 116 plus this ball. And anything greater than five would win the string in that box, and he has a six. So All right, we'll Nard award those. Nardone went to the right, took out just the 10, and I think it's all but... but um, Unbelievable. He, he can't miss today from Jeremy Seaholm. He can't miss today. All the way across in both of them. That one was even harder. Had to pick up the nine as well as the ten 
Uh, that went off the 4 7. Unbelievable with bowling Wood. by Seaholm today. 83 after 9 for Nardone. And he is. Uh, Waters obviously is the one this string. So after one, two, three, four marks in a row, plus in the three in the first half, we're on another fill. And is he going to get eight out of it? He, he gets eight out of it for 140 after nine. And just the head pin in the seven to shoot at, that should be easy for him. Nardone has eight down, two left. Nope, doesn't get it. So his best score now is a 150. And a nine box for Nardone closes him out at 92. And a nine okay. box for Seaholm where a 149 is the finish. The final score on that one. So another two points for Seaholm. About 560 for Jeremy through four. And Esdale came back strong on that one, but it's just uh, no winning against Jeremy right now. Waters takes takes a 39-pin uh, lead in the match um, in that in his head-to-head -head with Nardone. Seaholm leading by a buck 28 in the match. It, looking for magic. Looking for magic. Coming into the final game. Now, already underway to our left is a C Division match. Mike Smith versus Dave Peterson. We're going to move our equipment down there and catch that midstream as they, get, they, they opted to uh, just get their game going. All right, open box for Ezzy in the first of the final game. Waters shooting at the five pin, picks it up right in the face. So, Esdale closes with an eight box. And Waters with a mark. Got to clear out some uh, wood down there. And the score system called it a strike, but he hadn't thrown a ball legitimately, so we erase that. Esdale in box two. Game five. So far, he's been swept by Seaholm. Five, five spares and two strikes for Seaholm in that 149 that he just threw in the fourth. Waters. I was going to call a strike on spare, but it's a nine so far. Esdale misses to the right. Waters on a spare attempt on the eight pin with a bunch of wood in front of it. Should go, but you never know about wood. And he gets it, no problem. For two in a row for Justin Waters and the nine box for Dan Esdale for 17 after two. Waters is at 29 plus a ball. Esdale, nice nine drop, leaves the, the king pin. All the soldiers fell. The center pin or the five pin is left. We call that the king pin. On a fill for Waters. On the head pin, little fold, takes out just five. Check mark right. Esdale's all over the five pin for his first mark of the string. Waters has a check mark right plus the seven. Well, starts with a three pin. Let's see if he gets to it. He does not. And now he's trying to close out with a ten. And he'll have to settle for an eight. Okay, so... After three boxes in the fifth game of five, Dan Esdale is at 27 plus a ball. Justin Waters at 42. Esdale in the pocket nicely and only gets eight in a fill, and he's got the 5'10 to shoot at. 
He's got some wood next to that five that may be helpful. Waters off to the three. One, seven, nine, ten. Uses the oh, yeah. picks it up nicely. Beautifully done by Dan Asdale. 45 and a ball after four. Waters shooting at this multiple split and um, takes out just two. It's a 7 10 left. Wood by the seven. That's the one he's going for. And uh, settles for a nine on that. So af after four boxes, da uh, Justin Waters is at 51. Dan Esdell's at 45 and a ball. Esdale, our champion last year in the B division, promoted to A division this year. Waters, the A division champion. And that's nine in the drop for Waters. Esdale trying to pick this up on the inside. Just a little light and carries that head pin over around and back into the pit. Waters trying to pick up the 10 pin for the spare and misses to the left. And Esdale with an eight box is at 59 at the halfway point through the final game. 10 box for Waters, and I see uh, looking down at the action in the C match, Dave Peterson's putting on a show. He's in the ninth box of the first game with a 136 and a ball so far. All right, Jeremy Seaholm. Seaholm coming up on your Boy, right. Wouldn't he love a 140, huh? If he gets a 140, he gets to 700. And Danny Finn will have very little to say <laughs> during the approach after when he meets new guests. Well, come on, let's come on, start out is. with a strike. <laughs> that was scary. It looked like it was going to be a split for a second. All right. Peterson's over 150 right now. Wow. Right at 150. He's got one ball left. And a 150 it is for Dave Peterson in the C division. He's really come along a long ways. Great 10 for Nardone there. So Seaholm on a strike in the first of First box of the fifth game. Solid on the head pin, a little too much. He's got a spread eagle and wood behind the 2 4 area. I think that could help him take it. That could help his percentages. So Nardone throws a half Worcester left. Seaholm's going to the left. Wood carries. Now that's good. That was good fill in there. That makes an eight fill in a strike. Couldn't quite get anything to come forward, so the three and six are left, but that was a great bid on trying to spare the spread eagle. And there's a 10 for a 28 after two. Nardone has a 10 box as well for 20 after two. All right, just... My area over on the uh, Smith versus uh, Peterson match. Saw Peterson had a double strike spare in that combination. Okay, just a double strike. Jeremy gets some good late action there for Millis eight on his ball off off the head pin on the two, and that's a yeah the one two Nardone uh, threw a good ball on the head pin and uh, has the five six nine ten. And Wood, that to me, looks a little favorable. Uh, Seaholm picks up the spare, no problem. Nardone gets it. That was not an easy spare. And uh, spare in the third for both bowlers. And Nardone needs him. Waters has a 61 half. Seaholm matched Esdale's spare. Disappointing first right, ball. A lot of, but a lot of late work this. on that look one. Oh, oh, my goodness. Backdoor strike on spare for Seaholm. Unbelievable. That was, that was a good crumble. I think that came in on the four pin. 
between the two and the four, if I, if yeah. I remember correctly. <laughs> I mean, right. he, hit, he hit, hit the two pin, though. It, it wasn't all on the four pin. No. All right. Well, as you say, you can't take those pins away from him. So he's got a strike in there. 48 after three, and now he's got a two-ball fill. In the meantime, Mike Nardone made a quiet spare. A little nine drop. Beauty. So he put nine on his first spare, picked up another one. Seaholm. Is it going to be another backdoor strike? Not this time. Actually, he was on the head pin. So you miss the head pin, you get a strike. You hit the head pin, you get a little mini split down there. Nardone, his ball breaking to the left, puts seven, or to the right, puts seven on his fill. So 56 after four with the one, two, seven left. See him was looking at the six, eight, nine with Wood. Oh, oh that it. was a sweet. Another 20 box. He can't miss today. He's just on fire. Just really spectacular bowling from Seaholm today. Seventy-eight half, and a ten Plus box ball. for Nardone. He's a sixty-six. Has a five-pin lead over Waters in this string. And in the Seaholm versus uh, Esdale match. Uh, Right now, Seaholm is in the lead, 78 plus a ball to 59. Esdale's looking to scrape out two points any way he can here to avoid being swept. Nobody likes getting swept. Unofficially, that was six strikes for Jeremy Seaholm. He had a four-mark half. All right, Waters in his first ball in box six at game five. He's in the pocket and leaves the three six. Esdale's on the two pin. Just takes out three. He's got a cluster on the right and the seven pin on the left. Waters looking for a mark here on the three six. No. And somehow he fit it between the wood and the pins. Esdale through the hole. Both bowlers open in box six. And the nine box for Waters is 70 after six. Esdale trying to pick up some pins here and picks up, makes a seven box. So he's a 66 after six. Waters in box seven, game five, 70 after six. And there's, wow. a, there's a Justin Waters tra uh, trademark strike. Hesdale trying to match. Takes out seven, he's left with a left triangle, the four, seven, eight. Strike number six for Waters on the day. And uh, I don't know why the seven pin didn't go. He must have hit it just a tad light. Maybe a little full. I don't know what you call it, but it didn't go. Esdale frustrated. Um, takes out nothing, and that's a nine box for him. 75 after seven. Waters is at 80 plus a ball, plus a two ball fill. All right. Six in the first ball for Waters. And Esdale's on the head pin and gets a split again. Check mark right plus the four pin. Waters is looking at the three, six, nine, ten. No problem with that. Spare on strike. Another 20 box for Waters. For 90 after seven. And 100 in a ball after eight. And Esdale does not get the spare to go on that one, so he's got to pick a pin. Try to get at least a nine out of this. He's going for the four pin, which is the right. No, he's going for the seven. The ten. The ten. The ten is on the right, not the seven. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get my brain to catch up with my eyes. So uh, regardless, it's an eight box for Esdale, 83 after eight. Waters is on a fill. He's at 100 plus a ball. 
in the left pocket, and that's a six fill, 106. Esdale takes out five. That four pin went way off spot. Waters is shooting at a diamond on the right, the three, five, six, nine. Nope. And just pull, punches out the middle. A little too full. Esdale. A little light on that object pin. Nine box for Waters. He's a 115 after nine. Doors open for Nardone right now. Unless he has a big 10 box. And the nine box for Esdale, he's a 92. That's, after. that's an eight. Is an eight. Is yep. the one hiding back there? Yep. Yep. Dan stepped in front of it before I could verify. Okay. So an eight box, he's a 91 after nine. And we have a ball going back and forth from uh, actually Jeremy Seaholm's daughter is bowling in lane 19. All right, last box of the match for Waters and for Esdale. And Waters a puts it on beautiful the Beautiful ball. Pin. Esdale on a two pin, takes out six. Waters is just looking at the six and the nine. Needs a spare to get to 130, which is roughly his average. And he's got it. And Esdale does not pick up his mark. Needs one pin for 100. And does not have it, so it's a 99 string for Esdale. And a tough day for Dan. But he also ran into a uh, buzzsaw here. On the fill for Waters for his last game. And he puts up six, so 131. 131. So. Yeah, nice, nice easy day at the uh, lane. 643 for Justin Waters. So Nardone coming up. He's got a ways to go to catch him. And Seaholm is a 78 in a ball. Nardone is a 66 after five. Drops six. Is that five pins still up there? No. Seaholm on a fill. How about it? How about it, buddy? So he's gone spare strike, spare strike. And that's an 88 half. Nardone just clips the head pin off the four horsemen. And so far we're six boxes into this string, and Seaholm has three strikes. Not sequential. But he did have a triple in the last game. Yeah, game triple earlier, yeah. I, yeah. I, I believe he has seven on the day. I may have lost track of that. All right, Nardone on the head pin and takes out nine. Is that six pin going to go? No, it's not. Seaholm on a strike. First ball in a fill. On the two pin, just three in a fill so far. Nardone picks up a mark for 85 and a ball after seven. Got a chance here. Seaholm looking at the half Worcester plus a pin out, and he's in that pocket nicely. Eight in the fill. So first open box in a while. 106 after six. He's won the string in six boxes. And that's a 10 box, 116 after seven for Seaholm. So he swept all 14 points, but let's see if he can get to that number we've been thinking about. And a seven and a fill for Nardone for 92 after seven. Seaholm coming in on box eight. And he's off on the other side, but look at this. No half Worcester there. He's left for the one six ten and wood in between. Nardone trying to sweep that wood over for the spare. Does not get it. Seaholm on a spare attempt. 
Oh, no. Oh, and somehow the six pin stayed up, so no spare for Jeremy on box eight. And the nine box for Nardone, he's at 101. He's down five pins at the moment. He needs 30 to tie, 31 to win in the next two boxes. Seaholm's at 126 after eight with that 10 box. Nardone needing a strike, and he gets one. Seaholm on the head pin. Takes out six, and he's left with a three on the right, one on the left. So that is a three, four, six, ten. Got to carry something over to that four. <laughs> and no spare there. All right, I'm here. All right, trying to pick up the three, four to get a 10 here. He's going to go for one of them. He gets, is it going to go? Not out. Okay. Not quite, so a nine box puts 135. Jeremy. 135. 135 after nine. He needs a 140. He's five pins for a 700 series. Nardone on a strike. Oh, that was a good ball. It looked like it could be a double, but only five in the first ball. Needs a spare. Seaholm, box 10. We saw Esdale get that leave earlier, the check mark plus the seven. Nardone gets a spare on strike. All right, he has now tied. The next pin he picks up wins this game. Seaholm. Seven oh three. Well, he's got two, he's got another ball to go. He can get a seven oh five. He gets these two pins, and he's got them. He got it. Seven oh five. And that, if you missed the the last forty five episodes of the approach, has been a constant source of discussion. Jeremy Seaholm had been. Very, very near it, but never had a 700 in his career. But he was on fire today. today, on fire today, and just smoked through those pins. And Dan didn't bowl that terribly. That was a 137, ball. and Mike Nardone takes six. Let's check out our, our official scores there. It was a 137, 131. Nardone wins the fifth. He won... He got eight eight six, though the victory for Waters he carried the, carried the total, gets four pins for total. So we're we're gonna give him those, eight, and a fourteen nothing, victory seven oh five to five thirty one. That's right. We'll add these in and and. Uh, you know, I'm not sure about my mark. My mark totals may have gotten lost there at the end. But um, here, I'll just, I'll just clear these out here. Dan? I'm here. I'm we right saw here. history. We saw, we saw I mean, it, every episode of The Approach. We, we, uh, we've seen yeah. some, great, some great matches <laughs> here. And today we saw Jeremy Seaholm just on fire throughout the match. His low string of 115, but he's got everything else is over 140. Or no, except for 135, four, 134 in there. Yeah. So, amazing you know, bowling by Jeremy. He had three, he had three strikes and to go with three spares. So he ended up with uh, unofficially 17, 24 marks on the day. Waters finished up with uh, looks like a four spare, one strike finish. So he's at he ended up at 16 spares and six strikes. Mike Nardone coming on hot at the end with three spares and a strike. He ended up with with uh, 14 spares, four four strikes. He's happy. He's happy winning six off of Waters. That, that, you know, took, coming took, in as a 113 average against a 130. He took six off Waters, averaged over you know 120. And Waters ended up throwing his game. I mean, his his lows were 120s. Yeah, a Waters in 643. He, he, you know, so some good bowling. Dan had a tough day. Hey, 
Um, and uh, sometimes when your opponent's just really blowing your way like that, it's really tough to keep your composure, and Dan does. But he, he also was frustrated. He was not hitting his numbers. So right. um, well, Dan, he'll for, be back. Let's wrap things up then uh, for Candlepin Bowling Network and for the, the bowlers. Congratulations, Jeremy Seaholm with a big 7.05 today. <laughs> well earned, sir. And... Uh, Dan, we're gonna we're gonna say say goodbye. We'll be back with uh, a little bit of ACST C action.